sunny day here at the Duke. I call it the Duke, the Duke Energy Explorium. About to do some fishing and about to get things popping, about to get things going. And um, I will see you out there. Let's get it popping. Hey, what's up, guys? <clears throat> We're here. Like I said, the place that started off for me as a young fisherman, you know, my first year. I spent a lot of time at Duke Energy Explorium. You know, grinding it out and learning how to fish and uh, figuring things out for myself and learning different tactics, baits, lures for that whole, what, two years. Uh, <clears throat> and so, as you can see, we have chocolate milk here, a big river of chocolate milk. This has never happened at Duke Energy Explorium. This is the first time I've ever seen the water clarity this dirty here. So, I decided to throw on a KVD uh, spinner bait. I like spinner baits. I have no idea why. It's just a lot of fun. So we're going to get popping and uh, chopping this long strip up. I'm going to let that sink on down a little bit. This is a great chance to cook up with a fish, especially like a striper, because the water is so dirty they can't see nothing. So I'm throwing a white KVD, moving it slow through the water. <clears throat> and this is like a noise maker KVD. Uh, let me show you. With how this is designed, this has a bigger paddle. For the basic uh, spinner bait, it has smaller, really oval shaped, like oval shaped blades. But to get a lot of noise with this water clarity, it's good to throw something like this. And with the white, the all white is perfect. I call this pl I call this place the uh, Bass Spa, and this place is like uh, Striper City. This is Striper City, man. This place is jam packed. <clears throat> I'm jam stuck. This place is jam packed with striper. I mean, just running wild. You can see them bursting, popping all over. The place. some vibration going. Like I said, it's a great spot. Um, especially if you're a striper fisherman. It's a great spot to come to. A lot of striper. Me, I've caught a lot of uh, smallmouth bass out of here. No bass, no striper. I got some hits off striper. Came really close to some really decent fish as far as striper goes. It's also good for catfish, channel cat, and also crappy. One more go with the, and also what's good is to put a trail on the back of this. I saw that from one man, one rod. You can put it, I actually lost my trail. You can put a, uh, another hook on the back of this for short strikes. So thanks to one man, one rod.
great day, great view. I'm doing this to let it sink to the bottom and just basically swimming it slow and working with the current. Because the current is moving toward my left. So I'm going to work with the current. And I hope it doesn't get too bad. I want to throw some different stuff out here. That's it for the KVD. We're going to throw, what are we going to throw next? Uh, let's pop open the, the football jig with a uh, Guggen Bait Bandito Bug. Dugan Bates Bandito Bug, uh, Pure Passion, Alabama Cross Style. What I'm doing, letting it sink to the bottom, and uh, giving it two light pops at the bottom, about a two second wait in between, I'm just working it into the bank. Uh, creature base very good for. For the winter time, when the fish are very lethargic and moving really, really slow, they don't want to do too much moving around. Um, I was going to throw something else. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to do a switch of Rooney here. Because I was going to throw a tube. got my tubes and I, th I thought it was interesting to throw this as a uh, of course tournament series bass pro custom custom uh, lures it's uh, la, la, la. okay that's the name but it, it looks really cool I wanted to try some new stuff and it looks really cool really 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 nice like a little creature little creature bait so we're going to put this on instead of the Guggen bait. I was like, man, it's like a little blue, a little blue in that. Uh, so we're going to pop this bad boy on and give it a squabble. I'm going to be using this a lot more. There's something different. some tube action going. And we get it on. 
football jig. There we go. We're all tubed up. Sink off to the bottom. Let's see what we can pop. Have this bad boy. One more heave ho and we're going to switch on to something else. Like I said, this is good uh, for ground and pound attack. To hit those fish at the bottom. Because they may be munching on crawls, little bugs, insects, especially during the winter time. Fish <clears throat> like to munch and crunch slow. They don't want to have to use a lot of movement to get around. So they go for little bugs, insects, easy prey, easy meals. So we're going to serve them what they want to fit the diet for this time of the year. All right, we're going to switch her up, switch her up. It's a nice looking bait. Little two bags. I saw this at you can get this at Bass Pro Shops. They have a lot of variety of cool stuff, but it's a nice little bait. Thought I'd switch her up. All right, we're gonna move right along to where is it? Something I threw yesterday. The setup is a open hook with a split shot also with a swivel and I'm throwing a and I'm throwing a KVD perfect plastic summer coffee shad throwing the shad KVD I want to switch it up a little bit throw something uh, green, throw something a little different. And with this, <clears throat> This particular bait, uh, it's another grind and pound type of deal. I let it, sit to, let it drop to the bottom, and I basically do two pops, real quick two pops. All depends on how the water's moving, but it's basically to imitate a a. Um, a fish feeding at the bottom.
by too close to the or hugging too much. Look at that chocolate milk. I mean, it's like a big, gigantic pool of chocolate milk. Look at that. It's amazing. Like I said, this place is like Striper City. The fish is great. Striper population here is really big. They have uh, catfish, channel cat, and uh, small mouth. They do have large mouth, but I've never caught one. They have crappy. Lounging around near near the bank area. So we're gonna give this one more heave ho. Gonna, um, throw one more lure and see what we can get out of here. All right, guys, I moved to a different spot because. I know that these fish are not used to chocolate milk water and uh, this is a lot more calmer area where it can kind of chill out. This is where they would be. So I go where the fish go. I'm gonna be throwing, throwing the spinner bait again and uh, see what we can spinner bait out of here. Moving it uh, slow. <laughs> like I said, the water here has never been this dingy, ever. I mean, you can see it. I mean, it's like chocolate milk, just totally dingy. It's dingy, dingy. Totally dingy water. So we keep throwing this spinner, stretch out a little bit, just cover a lot of this area, see what we can get on the spinner bait. Move it a little bit slower. See what we 
fucking idiot. Give her one more heave ho on this spinner bait. This water is so dirty, man. Never seen it like this here. It's dark, dirty, dirty, dark water. I'll go a little faster. Do it one more heave ho with the spinner bait. I'm gonna give it one more shot to perform for me. One more shot. <laughs> See, so get my first spinner bait fish. gonna give the old clutch worm a shot. We're gonna close out today at the Duke Energy Exploriums. Uh-oh. What happened to my what in the world just happened? I don't know. Well we're gonna close out on that note because my worm broke we're gonna close out on that spinner base so uh <clears throat> if you uh like what you see has been helpful for you today uh hit that subscription button and uh, remember keep it popping